Hello everybody, my name is Yarkris, and welcome back to Skyrim Anniversary Edition. In the last video, we finished the quest in my time of need. As you can see, Sadia is paralyzed and ready to go off with Kamatu. Um, in this video, I do want to do this quest when the cat's away, which I believe... Well, no, I know it's added with Anniversary Edition. It goes, I found a note with the Bannered Mare, written by Khajiit named Mashara. She claims to have been a warrior in another life, and decided to start a fight with a guard so she could relive some of her past glory. I should visit the dungeon to see what became of her. So... For this quest, I guess we have to go up here. Enemies. Oh yeah, I forget that after she's paralyzed, she counts as an enemy, so can't fast travel when you're near her. But I think now I can. Okay. So I definitely have not done this anniversary edition. Edit. This anniversary edition addition. So, I am pretty interested to see what it is. What's up here? Oh, yeah, this is added with um, JK's Skyrim. Ooh, a blood bucket, an axe, some gallows. That's what that is, right? No, those are stockades, right? Yeah. I don't really know. I think I do, but I'm not sure I could be wrong. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to know when I do upload. What's this? Ooh, Mashara's Confession. Okay, white text, you can go away so I can read. This is pretty long. I enjoyed her fight with the guards. Plus, her new home is better than the last. It is a very tiny cage, but she does not beg for food. It, was, it is given. Still... Mashara longs to see the night sky when she was a kitten. The elders warned her that if she stared too long at the moons, they would grow shy, and Mashara would never see them again. This made her sad, and so Mashara vowed to stop looking up at the sky, and kept her head down toward the dirt where the beggars belonged. One day, she tried to steal the silver out of the pockets of a Nord man named Tyra. When she heard Khajiit's story, she took pity on the kitten, and told her that the moons were not the timid creatures she had believed. She said that as a... She said that as long as a Khajiit held her head up high, they would shine brighter than any star. From that day on, she spent her life in service to the Crimson Dirks, and when she was ready, her new litter mates forged her an armor made of silver, and in its heart, the piece Tyra had in her pocket so many moons ago. Mashara hid the armor in a hut, northwest of Rorkstead. At times, Mashara has longed to retrieve it and wear it proudly, but she must be careful not to let the sentiment cloud her judgment. Mashara suspects she is being followed, so she will leave the armor for another. Besides, it is not the silver and the armor or the moonlight in the sky that Mashara treasures, but the friends she has lost. Perhaps in death, she will see them again. So it can't, seems we can't actually meet this Khajiit. Even though if we did, she wouldn't have any actual voice lines, but... I don't know. I guess it's better this way. So we have to fast travel out to Rorikstead, walk up there, and see if we can get this armor. I wonder what armor set this is. I really don't know. So, let's sprint up here. Okay, it seems like the hut is right here. I wonder how much of a hut it really is. Eh, it's not really a hut. It's more of a um, cottage. Or a... Low Ooh, there's a skeever. Um, how about you fight my familiar? Ooh, there's three. Four? Whoa. Oh, is this... Yeah, it is Lund's Hut. So this place actually has a little, little bit of a sad story. Hey, come on, cut it out. Did they really defeat my familiar? No, he's right there. He was just being useless. So Lund's Hut actually is... um. Well, there's a note inside that I can read, and it will tell you exactly what it is. So instead of spoiling it, we'll just read it. So into the hut. There's more skeevers. Oh, I contracted a disease, too. Alright, so first we will check out this. Oh, just silver armor. That makes more sense. Unfortunately, it is heavy armor, which I will not wear. Just because I don't want to use heavy armor. Well, wait, no, I am using heavy armor, aren't I? For some reason, I keep thinking that I'm using light armor on this guy. I just need to know what I'm thinking. Silver boots, gauntlets. I'm not going to use the helmet, though, because I want to use the hood. Wow, that actually looks quite good on our character. Yeah, that does look really good. Let me make a save here. 
So here's Lun. He doesn't have anything on him, but he is uniquely named, so you know there is something interesting about him. Well, usually there's something interesting about all the uniquely named people. Now, where is what I'm looking for? I think he's supposed to have some sort of note on him. Where is it? Gosh, I'm so lost. Did something happen where it doesn't work when the skeevers are in here? Or not the skeevers, with the anniversary edition stuff? Does that, like, mess it up? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a note. Was it in here and I missed it? No, there's just this book, The Crimson Dirks. Uh, maybe if I check back outside again. Is Who is... East Empire Warden? Why? Okay. Wow, there is quite a few of you. Use Oak Flesh. Can I jump over this? Yep. Conjure my familiar... Use some healing in the left hand. Okay, she wasn't that tough. I think a taxi is slowing down my attack speed. Now I could be wrong, I'm gonna double check the negative effect. Active effects. Reduce lockpick and pickpocketing. So yeah, I was wrong, it's just how slow the maces are. I'm still not used to using a mace. Oh, now it is raining. That sucks. What was on you? Some minor healing potions. That's always useful. Now, was there a note out here? No? Oh, come on. What is going on here? So there's supposed to be some sort of note, if I recall correctly. Is it next to his body? No, and it's not on him. We've already checked. End table? Just gold. Nothing behind the basket. That's really unfortunate. Um... Well, anyways, something happened where his wife, who is buried over next to that spire, or what it, not spire, what is it? You know, the stone pillar. But she's buried there, and this is her ring right here, so I'm going to leave that be, because it seems kind of wrong to grab. And he's like, all I have left are my skeevers, but then if you look, his skeevers killed him. So, makes all sorts of sad. But... We should be happy, because we got nice silver armor now. What's this over here? What is this? Shoals Rest Farm? What is this? I've never seen this, I don't think. Oh, you know what? It's because I have alternate start mod installed. And if you go, like, I'm a farmer, I think this is your farm. Not a thief or a criminal, so I'm not going to break in. Okay, so I have something else that I want to do in this video, which is go over to this farm over here. So I'm going to wait till it's daytime, and then we're going to head over there. No way, man. I had no idea. Okay, so let's walk over to this farm. Can ride my horse actually. After I do this quest, I'm gonna end the video, and I don't really know what. I gotta figure out like a plan for what I want to do for this character. I mean, maybe I'll do another main quest quest after taking a few episodes off of it. Hey, ghosty. Nothing too tough here. Maybe I will just play it like a normal let's play, you know, do everything. Well, probably not do everything. Do everything that falls within my character. So here is Irval. I actually have a video on this entire place. I feel strange. Hot and cold all at once. My hand shakes. Hard to write. So dizzy. I think I've been poisoned. 
Seems she got the best of me after all. Okay, so it seems like he got poisoned by somebody, apparently. Do I have to activate? No, it's already activated. Search the phantom for clues. Didn't I just kill the phantom? Did it, like, drop anything? I don't think so. I don't even think it, like, fell into a pile. I think it just disappeared. Yeah, it definitely just disappeared, so... That's that. Yeah, anyways, we can just go in there and do some more stuff. Head on in. And go down here, if I recall. Yep. Come over here, hit this button. That is a grisly little scene. Okay. Another ghost. The ghost of that girl that was lying in there. Search the laboratory for clues. Here's a journal. Kind of a long journal. Do I really want to read this? I don't know. No, I don't. So you guys can read this. I will slowly flip through it. But basically what it's talking about is like... Oh yeah, her husband bought this farm, he wanted to come live here, he was so dedicated to running the farm, and then all of a sudden their kid disappeared, and she thinks he killed the kid. And that's basically what it is. But he also thinks that sh she killed the kid, and that's why he showed up and hit her in the chest with an axe. Which is kind of morbid, and there's a skill book. That makes up for all the sadness. what you then do is you have to go find evidence of his guilt so you come up here here is another journal and I will do the same thing with this one come on go away white text and this is basically just telling like the story of how they bought the farm from his point of view So yeah, he's convinced that his wife's turned into a witch because she's practicing alchemy in the basement. So they kind of both framed their son's death on each other, and she poisoned him, and before he died from the poison, he killed her. Here is their son's journal, and this is just him like, oh, my parents are always fighting, I can't wait till I can leave. And then there, he's talking about how there's wolves over next to this thing next to his house. And he says he's going to go over there and prove that he's not a baby because his parents are always fighting over like what he should be able to do. And sadly, we will go over to that spot, which is right there. And see a sad, sad sight, if I'm being honest. And I realized that not actually reading those out loud has shortened down this quest by quite a lot. And I know it's important stuff, but if you want to read it, you can pause the screen and read it yourself. But I've already, well, I actually already have a video where I read through all of that. So if you really want to hear someone read it, you can go check out that video on this place where I go through everything in one video. Here is his toy sword and a child skeleton, which is pretty sad and morbid. I mean, look at that tiny little skull. So sad. Wish you could go in the well. I wish the kid, like, fell in the well. And then you could go save him. And then he worked on your farm or something. He's like your little well slave. That's so messed up. I'm a terrible person. Just ignore me. Forget that I said that. Don't unsubscribe and dislike my videos, please. Okay. Come in here. And... We can place Rin's sword. Yes? Your family can rest in peace now. Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. And now you get the key to the plantation. And so this is the Skyrim Anniversary Edition Farming Edition, which is pretty cool, actually. You can build up this farm, and eventually you will um, start making money from it, and you can make, like, thousands of dollars at a time. 
well, not dollars, thousands of septums at a time. But you do need to plant some stuff, so I think if you go in here in the basement, there is some stuff you can plant. If I am correct, which I always could not be. There's a gourd, I know you can plant that, I think. So I don't know, I just think. Sorry if my voice sounds like scratchy. I have been, um, a little stuffed up. Oh, there's potatoes in here. Salt piles, yeah, there's some stuff in here. Good old potatoes. Always be good for me. I am Irish, so it would make sense if I'm a tomato or a potato farmer. I got confused when I saw those tomatoes. I can take all these too. And go out here and plant some crops. Start over here in the small one, fill it all the way up. Um, carrot. We'll do some carrots and some potatoes. Ooh, do I want to plant the gourd too? Oh, I can. That's cool. Can I plant flowers? Yeah, I can. Nice. Now, I should plant potatoes. And just plant those. One more. Not really. I'm going to finish planting this entire spot. Hire a steward for the plantation. I think I can hire Feindal for this, right? I'm not sure. Let me check. God, why is it always raining in this game? I wonder if I can hire Sven. Good day, friend. Keeping well. Eh, just follow me. I need your help. You want to talk to me after everything you've done? Someone's salty. Can I hire you to be do something? You Ooh, he can be a farmhand. I feel. I'm looking to hire a farmhand for my plantation. Are you interested? How much? Uh, I can pay you 250 gold. For that price? Sure. Okay, so he will go be the farmhand. You should come hear me play. I will ask him to follow me. I don't know if he can be the farmhand, but I know Feindal can, so why wouldn't this guy be able to? And I think I just fast traveled to Rorkstead and not my farm. Yeah, I did. Whoops. It is called Golden Hills Plantation. Very interesting place. All right. I've got your back. Ooh, I'm looking to hire a steward for my plantation. Are you interested? I'd be honored to be your steward. You built a fine steading here. Thank you. Ooh, now I can get him to buy things. Um, I need you to hire another farmhand. I'll see to it at once. Cool. How much gold do I have? One thousand nine hundred. I've been trained as a scald, as was my father and my. Of course. Mm, good for you. What room would you like me to furnish? Okay, first I think I'm just gonna have him do the bedroom, and that Is will be it for right else? now. If you come over here, you can um build all this stuff. Like it's basically just a hearth fire DLC, but I don't have any of the materials to do that. So we can come in here and check out our master bedroom, though. It's looking pretty nice and spiffy. We got ourselves a storage chest now, so I guess this is where I'm going to live for, for right now. Okay, so we're only at 20 minutes. I think I'll go over here, we can sell my stuff, maybe finish up one more thing, and then wrap up the episode. Okay, hey, Ariana Avenici. Oh, Adriana. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much um, anything to suit your needs. I want to keep the axe of white run. I feel like I just... I don't know. I don't like selling. Um, I'm going to keep that, too. I guess I could have stored that. I like keeping all the unique stuff. So all this. I have no interest in crafting in this one. And by this one, I mean this playthrough. Okay, I think there's one more thing in White Run that I want to do just quickly to wrap up, which is over here in the Hall of the Dead. 
And most of you probably know what I'm doing right now. I'm going here, talk to the, um... Fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? Cool, why, like, you follow someone into a crypt just to tell them about fruit. That's creepy. You're a creepy little girl. Where are you? There he is. Tell me, do you believe in mighty R.K., god of life and death? The god of death? I know him well. I'm glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. What did you lose? My amulet of R.K. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Sure, I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. That would be good. You'd probably just get in the way, if I'm being honest. So, I'm gonna activate that. Maybe between videos I'll collect everything needed to build up my farm. Maybe not, though. I don't really know. So in here there's just some skeletons. What you'd expect in the, um, tombs. But there is some cool stuff you can get. And a skill book. Some coins. Although it feels a little wrong taking them. Just because it's, like, offerings. Maybe I won't take them. Just because I want to be, like, a good character. Roderick is a very high and mighty knight. He would not walk in and just steal offerings from all the dead people. Ooh, caravan captain's note. Started legends lost. Oh my god, how much stuff. We met with Sadrus and picked up the cargo. At least our captain seemed to be in better spirits, but the others looked exhausted. To make matters worse, the air was flush with news about the caravans who did not make it. Siege by dwarven automatons on the road to Whiterun. My worries, such fears will find their way into the minds of my men, especially when the details of their stories seem to corroborate. It only seems to throw more kindling on the flame. Hopefully the other captains have a plan. We have had a few deserters already and will not and will need every available body if these attacks continue. It will be difficult to convince the men to leave the safety of the tavern for the terrors of the unknown. Even without his dwarven nonsense, the road ahead will only get more perilous given the copious bandits, wolves, and other dangers on the road. Captain Inodes has asked us to take a detour with the dressed caravan to Falkreath. Staying off the main road might prove us some cover. What is this? Legends Lost. I don't know what that is, but it deals with dwarven stuff, so it's a little higher level than what I am right now. Here is Anders' Emil of RK. And the one thing I will take from in here is I know there is a, um unusual gem somewhere. Where is it? Come on. Where are you? Um, is it in here? There it is. So I will snatch that. Okay, so we'll give him the amulet and then wrap up the video. With this terrible war, I'm I found your alone. amulet. Oh, thank RK. Please take this gold for your troubles. Alright, it's so only 15 gold. That's pretty crappy, but it's okay. Well, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to cure my disease. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.